Hey guys, Jennifer here with The Family Fudge and welcome to a very special birthday edition of Fudges of Lunches. This week was a crazy busy week full of celebrations, shopping, Disney, room makeovers, and summer snacks. So in today's video, instead of just sharing the lunches from the week, I'm also going to be sharing a little bit about what we did each day for this very special birthday week. This week we celebrated Griffin's fifth birthday and these lunches are all about him. They're going to include his favorite foods, his favorite themes. They're going to be cute and fun, but they're still gonna be really easy to make. Now, before we get started, give this video a big thumbs up if you love fun birthday lunches. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you would hit that red subscribe button. That way you can become part of the family. Okay guys, now of course we're kicking things off on Monday. Today's lunch, I decided to try for a trip transportation theme, which is actually the theme we decided to go with for Griffin's room makeover. So things like cars, planes, trains, that sort of thing. And you guys, speaking of room makeover, after I'm done putting the lunches together, we're actually heading to Ikea to hopefully find the things we need to go in Griffin's room. So starting with Griffin's main course first, I'm going to be making him his favorite sandwich, which is literally just mayonnaise and cheese. Nothing else. He likes his sandwiches to be pretty simple, but I'm still gonna make it really cute by using this airplane sandwich cutter. And you guys, this one is extra fun because when you're done, you're left with a little tiny airplane shaped sandwich right in the center. For Griffin's fruit, I'm adding one of his favorites, which is raspberries. And sticking with the transportation theme, I picked up some brand new bento picks from Amazon that totally go with this theme. Now for the veggies, I'm adding a combination of baby carrots and cucumbers. And it might be kind of hard to tell, but for the cucumbers, I used a teeny tiny sailboat cutter. And I'm just gonna place a few of these cucumber pieces right on top. To go along with these, I'll add some ranch for dipping. And then you guys, for Griffin snack, I'm actually gonna be using this race car shaped snack holder. Now technically, this snack holder is for Cheerios, but instead I'm gonna be adding some goldfish crackers and I asked Griffin if he could have any flavor of goldfish cracker, which one would he pick? And he very quickly decided on the pizza flavored one. So I'm just going to fill this trunk with the goldfish crackers and then move on to the treat. Now this sweet treat is going to be cute, but really easy to put together. I'm just combining some Rice Krispie treats and some M&Ms. And I'm specifically using the red, the yellow, and the green M&Ms. I'm just pressing them down into the Rice Krispie treat. And the idea is that when I'm done, that they kind of look like traffic lights. Finally, for the drink, I'm just gonna throw in a fruit punch and to stick with the transportation theme, I've added the wheel topper. And now I'm going to pack up all of the kids' lunches and we're gonna head to Ikea. As you can see, we were able to find plenty of items for Griffin's room, including lots of transportation themed items. So definitely stay tuned for the room makeover video. Hopefully that'll be out next week sometime. Now that brings us to Tuesday. And before I get started on today's lunches, we have some shopping to do. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so you can pick out whatever you want for your birthday and you can pick out three things, okay? okay? How many is three? One, two, three! Okay, let's hurry up and get in before it starts raining. Okay guys, now I know we came here for Griffin's toys, but I got distracted in the dollar section with all of these desk organization items with back to school right around the corner. I'm hoping to create a special desk area for each kid. So I'm just collecting things now to be able to do that. Are you ready to find some toys? Yeah! Okay. Okay, but 
everybody. What did you pick for your birthday? I picked an ice cream stuff. Okay, I so this is a Melissa and Doug, and it comes with an ice cream container and cones and ice cream. And, and what is this one? I got a lion shape toy. I have no idea what this is, but it looks like you need a key to yeah. open up this box. You need to put a key in here and then twist it like a normal bank when you need a key to unlock it. Uh -huh. and, and then, then you need a twist. And then what is this thing back here? This looks like so much fun. It's like a, kind of like a dollhouse, but instead of dolls, they're little tiny cars, which is so cute. I yeah. guess this is a show on Netflix. They're like, they're like a dad, a mom, and a little baby. And look at, there's a little car bed and a little car wash. That is gonna be so and fun. And a little Should we go home and eat lunch now? Yes. So now on to today's lunch. This year, Griffin picked out Super Mario for his birthday party theme. So to go along with that, I'm gonna try to make him a Mario themed lunch. And I have to admit, I don't really know that much about Mario the game personally. So I'm just gonna be trying my best. So starting with the main course, I've got out this loaf of red bread. And I'm going to be using this party decoration as kind of a template to make a delicious and cute sandwich. And yes, you guys, this is just going to be mayonnaise, cheese, and then this time I'm going to be adding some slices of pepperoni as well. Super simple sandwich, but this is what Griffin likes. So now that the sandwich is done, I'm going to move on to the fruit. For this, I'm using a combination of green grapes and strawberries. And I'm going to be adding these to a couple of skewers so that they kind of look like the fire piranha plants from the game. Now moving on to the veggies, I'm going to be adding a combination of carrots. I'm just going to take a huge carrot, I'm going to peel it, and then I'm going to cut these into slices. That way they kind of resemble the coins from the game. And then just for fun, I'm going to try my best at making these radishes look like toadstools. I kind of just cut around the bottom of the radish, and then I punched little circles around the top. I think these are so cute, although I'm not quite sure if Griffin's going to want to eat them or not. For Griffin's snack, I'm going to add some of these cheese balls, which are supposed to look like the fireballs from the game. And then for the sweet treat, I picked up some of these lemon Oreo thins, and I thought these would be perfect for this lunch because they're super easy, they're already ready to go, but they also kind of look like coins from the game as well. And now finally, to complete this lunch, I'm just going to add in an Honest Kids juice box in the fruit punch flavor. Hey guys, and welcome to Wednesday. Now today is Griffin's actual birthday. He turned five years old today, and we actually spent the morning doing all the traditional birthday activities. So I made him a special breakfast, and then he pretty much spent the rest of the morning opening up his presents and getting to play with them. We had a big surprise for him that he really loved, and that was his very own grocery store. Now I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to fit this in his new bedroom makeup, over, but it's still a really fun toy and I actually got it off of Facebook marketplace so it was a pretty good deal as well now when I asked Griffin what he wanted to do on his actual birthday he said he wanted to go to Magic Kingdom have lunch and go on his favorite rides been watching this channel for any length of time you'll probably know that Griffin's all-time favorite food is mac and cheese so definitely had to stop at a restaurant called the Friars Nook at Magic Kingdom in Fantasyland now I ended up getting a few different things to share some of the mac and cheese is plain some of it also has tater tots bacon bits and sour cream the fancy mac and cheese also came with a souvenir Mickey bowl which I'm super excited to use when we get home and then I did order a couple of kids meals 
as well. These came with mac and cheese, mandarin oranges, applesauce, and a drink. And then I did go ahead and bring some extras from home. Well, technically I picked these up at Walmart, and these are definitely a fun treat. These have apple slices, cheese, pretzels, meat sticks, things like that. The kids love them, and they are super cute. After lunch, we only had time for a few rides. We were definitely trying to make it home before the big storm. We would have gone on Space Mountain, which is Griffin's absolute favorite. The line for that ride was super long, so we ended up just going on the carousel. We also went on Thunder Mountain. The kids went on the teacups. I did not, because of that ride makes me so sick. And by that time, it was ready to head back home so we could have dinner and some birthday cake. Now, moving on to Thursday, which I planned to be a choose your own adventure day for Griffin. So that meant he got to choose all of the activities and all of the food in his lunch today. Okay, Griffin, are you ready to pick everything for this lunch? Yeah! Okay, so for your main course, I want to make the traditional birthday sprinkle bread but I want to use peanut butter. Do you like peanut butter? Yeah. Okay, so your first choice is, would you rather have a chunky peanut butter or smooth peanut butter? Which one's better? Smooth peanut butter, good choice. Because I don't want it crunchy, so I, so, so I might break my tooth because it's crunchy, so I picked smooth. Oh, <laughs> that would be some chunky peanut butter. Now, for this lunch, I definitely wanted to make sure to include our special birthday bread, which has definitely become a tradition at our house. And if you're unfamiliar, birthday bread is kind of like a cross between a peekaboo sandwich and Australian fairy bread. This is something that I make for all of my kids around their birthday, and they love it. Now, for the sprinkles, you have three choices. We have a traditional kind, we have a green and white, or this one that has lots of different colors, but bigger sprinkles. Which one do you want to pick? Um, this one. Because it's rainbow and I like rainbow. Yeah, things. that's surprising to me. I didn't think you'd pick that one. Now this sandwich is a little bit too big to fit in this lunch box, so I'm just going to trim off the crusts a little bit and then move on to the rest of the lunch. Time to pick the fruit. Would you rather have blueberries or would you rather have grapes? Next up, veggies. Would you rather have carrots or would you rather have this weird looking cucumber? Carrots because I like carrots. I'm a bunny because I like carrots. You're a bunny because you like carrots? That's funny. Nacho cheese, blue, or sorry, Cool Ranch, Crunchy Cheetos, Ruffles, or Fritos. Which one do you pick? I thought there's going to be a blue one. There is a blue one. Is it blue or red? Oh, blue. You want red? Uh-huh. A blue and a ham that made me. Okay, which one is red? 
find the red one, find the red one. I found two and three. There's one, two, three, four. So you want this one? Yeah. Okay, now for the sweet treat. Would you rather have birthday muffins or birthday cake granola with yogurt? I knew you were gonna pick that one. Okay, Griffin, last choice. This is about your drink. Now, I know you like milk, but would you rather have vanilla milk or choco milk? Which is better? Which is better? Uh-huh, good choice. Okay, buddy, I'm going to go ahead and put your lunch together, and then when I'm done, I'll let you see it. Okay. It'll be a big surprise. And there you have it guys, that's everything Griffin picked out for his own special lunch today. After lunch, Griffin gets to choose the special activity for the day. Now I was kind of surprised when Griffin asked to go to the trampoline park because he's technically never been to one before, but overall I think had an awesome time. In fact, I think all of the kids did. And you guys, I would love to know in the comments down below if you've ever been to a trampoline park before. Now that brings us to Friday, and you guys, I have to confess, I don't actually make a fun and cute lunch every single day. Some days are just too busy, and this day was definitely one of those days. In the morning, we actually got started on Griffin's room makeover, so of course we had to start by taking everything out of the room, which was quite the task, and then once we finally had everything cleared out, it was time for us to prep the walls for paint, which actually turned into an unexpected disaster. Then around lunchtime, I actually started working on a summer no-bake treats video, which actually came out yesterday. So if you missed that video, I will link it down below for you guys. Since I was working on that video on Friday, the kids actually ended up eating the bagel bites I made and they snacked on the sour grapes that I made. And then to go along with it for lunch that day, I also cooked up a pot of good old Annie's mac and cheese. So yeah, it was a super simple and casual snacky lunch lunch that day, but I do have to say it was enjoyed by all. Speaking of enjoyable things, I do hope that you enjoyed today's video and that it inspires you to make some fun lunches for yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.